warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, peace visitors for all of us. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Putri Nirmala Ramawati from SMP Degree for Sarita. I will deliver my speech entitled, Books are a storehouse of knowledge. The reason I choose the title is that by the existence of the book, we can get a lot of information and knowledge readily. So that we frequently reading books, we are able to think critically about existing problems in the world, especially in the field of education. Therefore, let us, as the next generation of the nation, be fond of reading books. Before we begin the program this morning, let us first pray and praise the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where with His mercy and guidance we can gather together in a state of good health without any obstacles. Salawat and greetings I offer to great Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, whom we are always waiting for his shake at Yawmul Qiyamah. Amin, Amin, Ya Rabbal Alamin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all now being faced with the COVID-19 pandemic. The spread of the COVID-19 pandemic not only has an impact on the health, economy, and social society, but it also has an impact on the education sector. One of the Ministry of Education and Culture policies to break the chain of spread of COVID-19 is to implement online learning. Therefore, in facing COVID-19, we as students and also the nation future generations should not be discouraged in learning. We have to dig up as much knowledge, for example, through reading a book. Books are sources of knowledge that we must read. There is a proverb saying that Books are the window to the world. What is the reason for that? Well, the reason is because through books we can find out many information which can increase our knowledge. Therefore, reading is the gate of science by reading our insights will de develop and our knowledge can be broadened. Science is a profession to face the times. So, reading is a very important thing for us to do as an obligation. However, the culture of reading is not very low. Why did it happen? They are lazy to read books. The books is very thick, the reading not interesting, and the contents are not interesting. Therefore, books are considered un as unimportant things. Books that should be read, maintained, and guarded. But what's the reality? No. These books are no longer considered because it has been influenced by technological development that are increasingly rampant. So the development of sophisticated technology we use for positive things? I don't think so. It is misused for things that are not important like up the status on Facebook and Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, technology can be used in such a positive way. For example, we can enjoy reading in an, a book or digital form. It is more practical and simple. We do not need to bring thick books anywhere because we are more comfortable using a book or digital form than using very thick books. So, no excuses for avoiding reading the books. Where is our awareness to increase our reading skill all this time? We must keep in mind that reading books is very useful things. Once we find a joy in reading, so all the time we love doing it. Just like eating peanuts. Once we find enjoy eating it, we can stop doing it until the last night. We should be diligent in reading books. We must raise awareness to improve reading skills through self-well motivation from the closest people, especially family, and often gather with people 
who love to read books. Then let us, as the next generation of the nation, remind each other, encourage each other, support each other to be diligent in reading books, because books are a source of knowledge that can incite. Say enthusiastic in facing this COVID-19 pandemic. We must obey all health protocols. We must frequently wash your hands using soap and wear you mask every time you come at, at home. Seven words from me. Love your book and reach your dream. That's all from me. If there is for or less, I apologize. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.